Correction. He warned them about a day to come when they will answer to their maker. He told them, worship the maker alone. Do not worship me. He told them that. When they changed it later on, that was their error. That was a manifest plot. Whatever had happened, that happened. It's our, it's our right to believe what we want to believe. To believe whatever we consider to be correct. And believe me, even if you speak to the Christians, they doubt the issue of Trinity. They doubt it. Even at the highest level. I went to a Christian high school, secondary school, and some of my friends have gone very far and become clergy in their own you know, right. And we talk to them, they cannot talk to us. They, they, they cannot compete. They cannot compete with Islam. My brother, I worship the one who made me. I say, oh my maker, I worship you. I put my head on the ground only for the one who made me. No one else. I put my head on the ground for he whom I'm going to return to alone. No one else. And I call him the worshipped one. Allah, Rabbun. Rabb means who made, nourishes, cherishes, sustains, provides, who is in absolute control of every aspect of my existence. So my head goes on the ground only for him. They just look at you because they don't have an answer. They don't have an answer. Because if you are to say, and I mentioned this earlier today, if you are to say, oh Jesus, help me. Let's put Islam for a moment at one's place and let us look at it from a secular point of view, which means just talk to them from your brain, from a brain point of view. If someone says, oh Jesus, help me. Jesus can either help you or not help you that is the probability according to the brain that if I ask someone please help me they can either help you or not help you when I ask someone please save me please forgive me please grant me happiness please grant me paradise they can either grant you or not I'd rather stay away from the probability of it being granted or not by a person go out of that whole doubt go out of the whole probability issue may or may not and just ask direct oh owner of paradise grant me paradise oh you whom i'm going to return to forgive me when i get to you or have mercy on me when i get to you and so on or have mercy on me now oh you who is in absolute control of my entire existence have mercy on me forgive me this is where the word rabbun comes from rabb what is a rabb i just explained it moments ago the one who creates nourishes cherishes provides sustains and so on it's interesting to know it off by heart because when we say Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen A lazy way of translating it is praise be to Allah Lord of the world That's a lazy way of translating it But sometimes we have to do that for time purposes Allah protect us We need to know as Muslims So conception, misconception number one We've got it out of the scene Because we now know that Islam as it is was taught from the beginning And that Iman that is there The belief from the very beginning came down all the way up to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and it was taught and given to the, those who had not had a messenger before those the Arabs of Mecca and the people of Quraysh that this was initially started with they at some point accepted it initially they were very you know uh, hostile towards the message anyone comes to you with a pure message sometimes people feel hostile because shaitan is there and he makes you say this man is saying Allahu wa qala rasulu. no 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 these two things alone cannot be islam islam you need to add things i said yesterday in malaysia we like to add spice mashallah to our food i tasted some of it last night mashallah some of it was edible and some of it was very tasty but you know they say mashallah a little bit too spicy sometimes for the tongue let's stop there inshallah so th we don't want to add spice in our religion as well we don't want to add spice go back to the pure islam what is wrong with it nothing but remember something don't develop an air about yourself just because allah has accepted you you know to understand that what i'm doing is wrong and i need to get back to what is right and what should make you happy is when you obey allah's instruction knowing the instruction when you obey the messenger's instruction, knowing the instruction, this is the instruction. I heard this and I know this. It's the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, undisputed. How can I challenge that? And this is why Rasulullah ﷺ says, I have left with you two things. For as long as you hold fast onto them, you will not go astray. One is the kitab and one is my sunnah. 
the Quran and the Hadith. Today there are people fighting the Hadith. They tell you this is the Quran. And that's it. We accept only the